The following content contains spoilers, so please be advised. You can leave now. Or stay, because I will spoil the shit out of this. I'm telling you, I will spoil it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. It's not what you think it is. It's just theatrics. It's acting. I was just watching Resulted, and I gotta say, my God, my God, where was this? How come I just found out about Miss Griselda Blanco off this documentary? Not saying, not saying that I don't know anything about drugs and all that. Okay, enough that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, okay. We're talking Miss Griselda Blanco about six episodes long, an episode ranging on averaging about 58 minutes long. It's incredible. It's really incredible. And Sophia's performance is just breathtaking. I will say this, that she could have gone on for years, bro. I've never seen a gangster who was so brilliant, so careful. And her downfall, her demise, is solely rest on her hands. Yes, towards the end, I'm spoiling this shit. Towards the end, she became too influenced by others. She and she couldn't grasp it harder enough. And the way she clinged made her lose her grip. And once she lost her grip, kapoof, the drug empire crumbled. Crumbled because of her emotions. Basically, because succumbing to what the old time gangsters, old time cartel said, you're a woman, you cannot do this. I don't know why I'm talking, speaking with an Italian accent, but you get what I'm trying to say. So, Griselda Blanco, what is this really about? Without spoiling it for you, I don't know how to tell you without spoiling it for you. So I will go ahead and start spoiling shit for you. So this is about a woman from Colombia who starts off in a horrible circumstance. Starts off with a kilo of cocaine after murdering her lover who sort of forced her to sleep with her brother. Ooh. And then she just takes over the city of Miami, becomes the greatest, becomes dubbed the Godmother. And she's drunk with a power, falls in love with a guy who's in love with her, like truly in love with her. And the beauty of this is, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen a man who was with a woman who was so intimidating. And it did not bruise or make his ego fragile. He knew he had her love and he had her adoration and he followed her orders to the letter. He had won the goal. He had the woman who was the most powerful woman in all of Miami. He was content. And like any other person, when he had a kid, he couldn't do it no more. He wanted to be a father and he became a father. He couldn't do the high-risk stuff anymore, and she felt he was weak. He couldn't cut it. So Griselda's demise is solely on her shoulders, like I already mentioned. She got paranoid. No, the police had nothing on her. They had stuff. They had tons of stuff. They knew where the drugs were. They knew who had the drugs. But they couldn't say they belonged to Griselda. They could arrest dudes. But dudes wouldn't say shit. Like there's a scene where a guy tries to chop off a man's head with a machete in a bloody airport. And the guy stands in the interrogation room and he says, I ain't saying shit. And he doesn't say shit. That is incredible. Griselda has had mastered, had masked, had collected so much power. The city was at the bottom of her hands. She was unstoppable, but lost her humanity along the way. She stopped being a mother. She became a, a godmother and abandoned her four kids or three kids, whichever way you want to put it. She became a mother of a city, a feared woman, and a horrible wife and husband. A horrible wife and mother, not husband. Unless she was doubling up. <laughs> she was doubling up towards the end. Anyway. Unimportant detail. So I will say that this was um, muy elegante, brilliant. This was uh, spectacular. 
This was interessant. I'm just throwing in a few Spanish words so you think, oh my god, he was really watching. But it's it, it, not the case. Okay, I'm rambling. So, there's this cup. Okay, I'm spoiling shit now. I think I just hit the mic. Sorry. So, with this, I have to say that this is really breathtaking. It's a really breathtaking tale about shortcomings and becoming too grand that no one can even touch you but yourself. So she became so big, so big, that no one was a threat. The only fear she had was forces from inside destroying her empire. But the only thing that destroyed her empire is herself. Like she had the adoration, the affection, the love, the fear of the people. And then um, she doubted it. The cops poked her with a toothpick. Imagine this. You're a giant. You're an elephant. And someone took a twig the size of a toothpick. Poked you on the toe. Your skin is hard, my friend. It's hard. But you felt the poke. You felt it. You're like, hey, what is that? Whatever. Instead of saying whatever, forget it. It is nothing. You lose your shit. You start trampling a whole jungle, upsetting everybody. And the lions see the whole. But this uh, matriarch elephant is very vulnerable. He might as a attack. Let's make her think that all the other elephants. Oh, this horrible analogy. Okay, let's just do it anyway. That all the other elephants are against her. And she will lose her cool. She'll start killing all the baby elephants. Getting all the other elephants upset at her. And all the other elephants say, Hey, lions! The matriarch is vulnerable today. She's on a period. <laughs> and the cops pounce on her. Or, no, the cops don't pounce on her. The other girls who are trying to be the matriarch bounce on her. Or the old grand matriarch. I don't even know where this is going. I will say this is an incredible story. If you've watched Narcos, if you've watched the, the, anything about drugs, basically, you are missing this as a chapter to watch. Like, she took over her seat. But I have a few questions. Like, yes. Miss Blanco died in Colombia at the age of 69 after serving years in prison for drug cases, not the murders she committed. Like, she really killed everybody. She went on a killing spree in Miami. She murdered everybody. She murdered every drug lord that ever existed so that the Orcha, is it Orcha or Orcho, whatever, family would do only business with her in the Miami. It would do business with the Orchers. Not with the Griselda, she with the Italia, which was brilliant by my opinion. She took out, she knocked out the competition, became the sole survivor, and no one could touch her, which was brilliant. Eliminate, so you cannot be eliminated. So, by that, uh, it's brilliant. So, I have to say that she did it. She was the queen. She was top of the food chain. She got toppled by a goddamn mouse who didn't even see cheese. She just shouted cheese and took her down. This also talks about how obsessed police officers are. If they want to take you down for something, they will take you down. Dang, that girl was obsessed. She was obsessed. By the way, Griselda's kids were all murdered, except for the young one. They were all murdered because Griselda was a fucking idiot. Genius from the beginning, an idiot at the end. Why an idiot at the end? Because he was dumb. Like, I've never seen anyone with so much loyalty. Like, everyone was loyal to her until she attacked them individually. She attacked her best friend, accusing her. After her best friend comes to her and tells her, Dude, the cops are at my house. They're telling me about deals. You gotta put this shit down. Wrap it down, my dude. But you know what? 
Instead of saying, you're right, best friend. Let's get out of here. I've got billions. No. Rosalba decided to choke her instead. And the friend went to the police, told her whatever she could about the drugs. Not the murders, the drugs. So they took her down for the drugs. And the beauty of it, Griselda took, took herself into the police custody because she wanted to escape the cartel killing her. And the cartel didn't kill her. You know what the cartel did? They waited for her to get out of the prison and then killed all her kids. <laughs> and then waited for her to, to, to survive for years thinking, I've won. And then they killed her too. Brilliant. So they wanted her to live with the pain of losing her kids. And then... Murder her to the end. That is commitment. That is the cartel way of telling you. We are going to hurt you, my friend. You cannot escape. And she could not escape. So she murdered her from the beginning to the end. Okay, enough with this ridiculous accent. It's been fun. Adios, sir. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.